Welcome viewers, I uh, haven't been active on YouTube recently, and <clears throat> it's kind of, my shop is in a state of disarray, I mean, what's new, and there's one, one giant um, reason as, well not very giant, one small reason that is also a giant reason as to why I haven't been getting a whole lot done. Hey everyone, this is Duncan. And he apparently spit up while I was doing that intro, and that is the uh, course de jour. So, what have I been doing? Uh, well, this, I I saw some Sean Woods videos on mousetraps, and I thought I would try to do a, uh, a print-in-place mousetrap that just clips on a bucket. And so this prints in this orientation with my 3D printer. <coughs> and... Well, it just clips on like that. Now, maybe a little bit of tolerance is there, but that's okay. And then it just spins. <clears throat> and you put a little bit of bait out here, mouse walks out, and it falls into the bucket. That's one thing I work on. Uh, printed in my 3D printer here. I had some viewers asking about what the heck I have. And it's a... Bone stock Ender 3 Pro with a, a glass bed kit and a one of these overture plates, which is a really good print surface, uh, holds really well, releases okay. And it is in this enclosure, and I do have a heater that I don't have plugged in here right now because I'm actually using it to uh, help heat my shop. It was zero degrees Fahrenheit last night. But I have that that can be hooked up to this. Uh, this is an MPPT controller in a uh, power supply case that I built. It's actually an old uh, UPS case. So that's that's what's going on with my 3D printer. A lot of the 3D printer uh, filament I have is PLA, mostly PLA. I did get some ABS to try, and I have some PETG, which I don't really like using. But it's all in these plastic house cases. Um, the different colors. So that's that's my 3D printer, and when you close the case, it gets really quiet. It is was an old an old uh, computer dust proof case. There was a filter here, and there's still exhaust fans in the back there that I have taped over those and taped over these so the the built chamber I can keep it warm. Um, probably about 80 or between 80 and 100 degrees Fahrenheit pretty easily. Because my shop, um, some nights, it only goes down to, uh, what is that there, 56, so it's 56 degrees in here right now. Uh, what else? Well, I just moved a, a whole bunch of wood that I had here stacked because I want to build a shipping station. I'm finding my, myself shipping a lot more stuff recently. A lot of ram pump stuff. Uh, these are just the parts. I have a whole bunch more of my shipping supplies are over here. Uh, and I got a heat shrink set up. So this is uh, 100 gauge polyolefin uh, heat shrink 24 inch wide roll. This is a uh, centerfold ram pump kits like this. So it looks at a lot more professional. Uh, what else? I, I just don't have a whole lot of room in my shop right now because I'm rearranging a lot of stuff. And I brought, well, I suppose I should say, the shipping station that I'm putting together is going to be uh, one of these tables and I'm going to put like a back and a, a top shelf here-ish that I can put my uh, boxes in and shipping supplies. And underneath, uh, I don't know what I'm going to do exactly. I did have two of these toolboxes underneath those, and I may put them back underneath the way they were. I snagged this from another property that I own, because I wasn't using it there anymore, so I thought I would bring it here. The same thing with this guy here. <clears throat> Just got a bunch of random stuff in there right now. I have, for my table saw, this is an Incra uh, TS32, I think that's what it's 
part number is, or LS32. Um, table saw fence to go on my table saw. So I, I finally got that in and I need to uh, put it together. And I need to wire up a proper box for my VFD because this is a three phase table saw. So I run it off a 220 volt single phase through the VFD and it offers soft start, power braking, uh, which is an advantage over a single phase motor. Uh, here's a Christmas present that I got from my parents because I, I want to find myself doing a lot more fabrication and this will make fabrication easy. It's a, uh, it's called a cold saw. It just has a, a proper carbide tooth blade there. I mean, there's different blades that are offered. I do fabrication for like a, a wind turbine. Uh, here's just some of the metal scraps that I have. Uh, let's see, what's in here? I have the water wheel in here because I want to redo the mounts. Uh, what I was doing previously with this goofy mount here that you guys may see in a uh, future video with a belt drive. This belt drive is not sufficient, so I need to do something else. Uh, I recently got this 20 ton press that'll help with doing a lot of maintenance on uh, tools and maybe doing some fabrication. Uh, you can put a set of brake press dies in this and then the properly bend some metal. I got a 24 inch finger brake. Uh, this, it was a really good deal. Like I got it for like maybe one third the price that these commonly go for. It is missing a finger. I, I don't really have a need for this, but I was planning on like buying it and flipping it, making some money. Uh, it weighs like 300 pounds and it's a really pain, real pain in the butt to move. Uh, over here I have, this is plugged into my solar. <coughs> I just have four solar panels outside laying on the ground outside my shop. Uh, they're covered in a foot of snow right now, and this is still maintaining charge because I'm not actually using it right now, but I typically use it to charge all of my batteries. Um, so, like Makita, got a little vacuum here, these are my power banks, and charging other things with solar power so I don't have the parasitic load of the chargers that are just plugged into the wall all the time not doing anything. Uh, what else? Okay, so this is the wood that I, some of the wood that I moved. I need to rebuild, not rebuild, but a uh, build a new stand for this wood, um, probably in this area, and I need to get rid of that. It kind of came with the building, and I just, it's too nice to throw away, but it needs a little bit of work to fix and sell properly. Uh, so that's something that I'm going to do. Uh, I, I like to say in the near future, but that's been five years now. Moving on. Uh... <clears throat> I still want to get into my lithium charging, uh, building lithium packs for 48 volt charging systems. They're a lot more efficient, so I still want to do that, uh, but I just haven't had a whole lot of time. Thanks, Duncan. Uh, these are some of my succulents. This got a little bit uh, frozen before I brought it in here. Uh, so I, I need to set up a a shelf in front of the window, like I, I kind of have it here, but I also have these sconces from our business that I tore out that I need to sell because we replaced the sconces with something that looks better, more professional, and newer. Ah, geez, okay. Moving on. Uh, I still need to build a stand for these uh, Stanley sort tainers, whatever thing cases. Um, so this is my screw storage method. Do I have anything important back here that you guys would be interested in? Um, I think I might mount one or two of these on that shipping station so I could have like a place to store my uh, tape rolls and scissors and whatever else I may need. Anything back here? Well, <laughs> here's a, a CNC uh, mill, just a tiny Sherline one that I need to sell. It's a uh, Denford um, micro mill and I also have the lathe version too down there. I need to uh, fix these up and sell these too because I see them commonly go on eBay for like between two or three grand as a set. So I need to do that. I do have the, the covers that go on the sides and the front too. So that would be uh, interesting to get done. I have these 100 watt 
light bulbs plugged in just to add a little bit of heat in the shot because my son's down here and I don't want it to be too cold. So let's warm it up. Uh, over here, I I had chucked up this. Uh, this is the generator off of the hydro turbine, and I printed this adapter. 3D printed this adapter to chuck it in the lathe. Uh, so I would chuck the that generator in here, and I could power it at different RPMs. And then I had on this board my uh, Midnight Solar Classic, and I could charge a set of batteries and get the the power output of this or of this that was running and i could measure the torque with this moment arm here and i i had above the lathe here a scale so i could measure the torque that it's producing either under no load or varying amounts of load so i could uh, properly dyno test kind of uh, one of these generators to see exactly what they output. Uh, <clears throat> my brother got these for like five bucks a piece. He got a whole bunch of them from Lowe's. They were closing out. They gave me one. It's cool. Here is uh, a mini split line set that I ordered, oh geez, probably a year ago and I'm still waiting for it to come in. I want to mount it right, right there so I would have mini split heat for the whole shop because right now I just have a radiator and a heater and then whatever light comes off of these lights and whatever extra heat I put out like this little heater here uh, the lights themselves do add actually a little bit of heat even though they're LED but I do have uh, let's see one two three four five six times three eighteen of those lights times two bulbs each and they're what probably 20 watts a piece i don't know that's a lot of light i think 700 watts is what i calculated and i do have you know my house is above the shop and there's uh, 16 inches of insulation on the ceiling and that wall's insulated this wall is double insulated and then the rest of the walls in the shop are single insulated uh including even my my garage door here which is insulated although not a whole lot <clears throat> oh, um, so I also have some other things that I want to, uh, that I need to do videos on. This is a jackhammer, or uh, as they call it, a demolition hammer jackhammer. Uh, it has a handle so you could do, like, walls more easily. Uh, what else? Do I have anything interesting? This is a snowblower I got for 25 bucks. I need to fix it and sell it. I should have done that, like, weeks ago because we have outside we have like a foot of snow so yeah uh, right so I, I had this Canon uh, inkjet printer that I was printing out my manuals and you can see that it there it was uh, running low on ink so I hate inkjet printers so I got a color laser printer. This, what is this? An L3270. And I've been printing out manuals on it now instead. Um, I need to get some better paper though. So I think this is, this is printed out on the, I can't, no, this is the laser. Uh, you see that? That goofy pattern there. I need to figure out what's going on with this laser printer because it's not printing out that full quality that I need it to. And I also want to print on some more professional paper instead of these just, uh, 20 pound copy papers. Uh, I'm also working on a large RAM pump. I know these don't look very big, but they're big. This is a two inch ramp pump. I have a tentative buyer in the Middle East and I've been working on, well, that's a, a swing check and then here is a inline spring check valve and I wanna do a, a new slider because these brass on brass sliders are not long for this world. 
So I have 3D printed a prototype here that just screws in and then uh, I have some eight millimeter polished stainless rod that I can put through there and then gut this and replace the shaft that's here with um, the threaded stainless rod on this metal disc here, brass disc. And I can remove these guider bars and the spring and everything so I could, um, well, it, it serves multiple purposes besides just increasing wear or lifespan of the slide mechanism. You can also add weight to hold it down for a longer period of time to increase the velocity of the water going into the ramp pump. The more velocity you get before it closes, the more power your ramp pump will put out. Um, I think possibly increased efficiency too, but I don't know, that's something to test in the future. Uh, these are just some of the LED lights that I use to compare things with. Uh, here's some one inch ramp pump kit stuff that I'm putting together because I'm trying to increase my ramp pump offerings. Uh, I have, yeah, I have a half inch ramp pump there made up. I really don't sell a whole lot of those anymore. And then I also have a whole bunch of three quarter inch ramp pumps because I sell a few of those a month actually. And then I, I made a one inch ramp pump listing, put it on eBay. And then I sold one within 24 hours. So that told me I need to uh, invest more capital in buying supplies. So I have done such. Uh, I have these casters that I need to put on. So I'm using this as a shipping table, but the shipping table is going to be like fixed. So I'm just going to use the adjustment feet that it has. But I have another one, and this is going to be like my, I hope maybe a video presentation table. I'm going to put the casters there so I can move this around my shop. That's kind of where I am <coughs> with my, my shop and my progress and my state of the channel. So I will uh, see you guys later. And I'm really surprised that my, my son here, Duncan... Oh, look at you. You've been spitting up some more. Surprised that he's been quiet. He just woke up from a nap. So... Uh, he's like two months and he's 80th percentile for all growth metrics. So he's a big boy. Alright guys, I'll see you around.